गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंप्लीट दिस चैप्टर द टाइम विल ऑफ मनी कांसेप्ट सो लास्ट क्लास वी एक्सप्लेन्ड इन डिटेल्स अबाउट द प्रेजेंट वैल्यू एंड फ्यूचर वैल्यू कांसेप्ट एंड यू आल्सो एक्सप्लेन्ड हाउ टू यूज टेबल 2 राइट how to use table 2 we already explained last class and today we are going to explain how to use table 4 and uh, table 6 and uh, i believe you also remember what is the meaning of annually annually means interest is paid one times a year right and divide by one times one then semi annually means two times a year divided interest rate divide by two and time period times 2 quarterly means four times a year so interest rate divided by 4 and uh, year times 4 and if it is monthly interest rate is divided by 12 and times 12 5 years times 12 and daily means 365 days or something like this anyway so today we are here basic annuities so this is the topics for today's class basic annuity so first you have to know what is the meaning of the term annuity so this is our first target to know what is the meaning of annuity so definition of annuity said that series of cash flows okay what is the meaning of series of cash flows it means that future cash flows future cash flows are more than one time so this is the first criteria for annuities so a series amount series amount of means it is installment so future cash flows are more than one time this is the first criteria and of the same amount okay same amount received or paid so what is the meaning of same amount for example year 1 the 2 for example we have future cash flows are more than one time okay you can see that future cash flows are more than one time more than one time means five times for example and another keyword is the same amount so this future cash flows should be the same amount like for example 1000 dollar 1000 dollar 1000 dollar so it should be the same it should be same every year or every installment so if this is the case it is called annuity okay if this is the case it is called annuity that means future cash flows are more than one time this is more than one time year 1 2 3 4 5 and all the future cash flows are similar amount look it is 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 similar amount clear so if this is the case you will think that this called the annuity now we have two types of annuity we have two types of annuity one is called ordinary annuity and another is called annuity due 
Okay, so in both cases, we already know, we already know what is the meaning of annuity. We already know what is the meaning of annuity. Now, two types, one is called ordinary annuity and another is called uh, annuity due. Now, what is ordinary annuity? Let me show you the example first so that you can easily understand. So what is ordinary annuity? Again, the first characteristics of first characteristics of ordinary annuity. Okay, in both anyway, the first characteristics of ordinary annuity is the this one. <clears throat> so these are the first characteristics. Future cash flows are more than one time. Okay. So the second characteristics also from here. Same amount received or paid each period. So same amount. Same amount received or paid each year. Then third characteristics. Future cash flows are made at the end of the year. This is another keyword. Future cash flows are made at the end of the year. And uh, if you don't find this information, future cash flows are made at the end of the year, then you have to find out another keyword. Future. Sorry. The first payment is not today. First payment is not today. So this is another characteristics. Do you understand? So first payment is not today. First payment is not today. It means that first payment may be in another day, not today. Okay, so, and again, these are the examples you can see. These are the examples. We have a future cash flows more than one time, future cash flows more than one time. This is the same amount. Look at here, same amount and Another characteristics is this money, this money you will receive or pay at the end of the year, at the end of the year. Again, if you don't understand the meaning, that means if the question is not clearly tell you at the end of the year, okay? Then what is the another keyword? Another keyword is this one. First payment is not today. So year one, you have to look at this. Okay, in the word in year one. Okay, in or in in year one, you have to find out when is the first payment. The first payment is not today. So today we have a transition between you and me. For example, okay, I buy something from you. I buy something from you, but today I am not going to pay you any money. Something like this. So clear, you understand the characteristics? Now let's see the examples. And if this is the case, if this is the case, 
we have to calculate present value based on table 4 clear if you find these characteristics if you find these characteristics then you have to use table 4 to calculate the present value you understand right now look at the example present value of an ordinary annuity because we are here ordinary annuity and you already know what are the characteristics what are the characteristics of ordinary annuity you already know this now look at this diagram according to this diagram so we have a series of payment from year one to year 20. we have a series of payment that means payment or future cash flows are more than one time right more than one time and when you are going to receive the money or when you are going to pay the money you are going to receive or pay the money this is zero zero means today right zero means today so zero means january 1st and this point is called december 31st so first payment is not today i told you that you have to find out this the first payment is not today first payment is not today so first payment is some another day Okay, another day according to this question this is one year from today so at this this point this point so we have to use table four to calculate so our question is what is the present value of today what is the present value of today so in order to calculate the present value of today we are going to use uh, table four we are going to use this table now let's see one example from the textbook so this people wins two million dollar, two million dollar state lottery. For example, you win this lottery, two million dollar, but the the authority said that I am not going to pay this money today because two million is huge amount of money, right? They said that I am not going to pay you this money today. I will pay pay you this money with installment. And what is the installment? They said that she will be paid. She will be paid $100,000. She will be paid $100,000 when? At the end of, okay? At the end of each year, right? At the end of each year, this is another characteristics. At the end of each year for the next 20 years. So next 20 years means another characteristics. 20 years means more than one time. So you are going to receive $100,000 more than one times. How many years? 20 years. And when you are going to pay the this kind of money every installment is at the end of the period okay so that means this diagram you are going to receive one hundred thousand dollar for 20 years 20 years and when at the end of the year right every payment is at the end of the year that means another keyword another keyword is fast payment is not today fast payment is not today so we are going to use this kind of table so here you can see that we don't have any information about whether it is annually or semi-annually, right? So if you don't have any information about annually, semi-annually or quarterly, it is annually. Because if you read only 8%, percentage is always annually, right? If it is semi-annually, they will tell you semi-annual. Clear the point? Yes. So if nothing is mentioned, so 8% means it is annually. Annually means future cash flow is only one time, right? So one time means I equal 8%, N equal 20, and we are going to use table four. Clear? So if the question is said here, if the question is said here same annually, if the question is said here same annually, then I equal four, right? I equal four and N equal 40. You understand? So here we do not have anything mentioned. That means it is, if nothing is mentioned, it means that it is annually. annually. So we are going to use, you have to find your table that I already shared with you in the table. So N equal 20, so this is 20, right? 
So you can see n equal 20. So this point is the 20. And this is 8%. They're mixed together here. So we are looking for this number, 9.81815. So this is the point. This is the point that come together with 8% and 20 years. Now, this is the formula, present value equal, how many month, how, how much your installment? Installment is $100,000. And you are looking for this number from table. And the present value is this amount. Present value is this amount. So this is the present value of annuity, oh, sorry, ordinary annuity, present value of ordinary annuity. Then have a look, the present value of annuity due. So we have another point, it is called annuity due. So look at here, annuity due. So this characteristic is the first one is common for whether it is ordinary annuity or whether it is annuity due. First characteristics common. That means future cash flows are more than one time. Future cash flows are more than one time. And second characteristic is also same. The same amount you receive or you pay. Okay, same amount you receive or pay. Difference is start from here. So you find that these two characteristics these two characteristics are common, whether it is ordinary annuity or whether it is annuity due. The difference start from here. Future cash flows are made or received at the beginning of the year. So this is the first difference. This is the first difference. Future cash flows are made at the beginning of the year or first payment is made, okay? First payment is today. Do you understand? So ordinary annuity said that first payment is not today, but annuity due said that first payment is today. So today we have a transition. Okay. Today we have a transition, and the first installment I paid you today, or you give me today. Something like this. So the first payment is today. First payment is today and at the beginning. This is the difference. So do you understand, right? So do you understand the difference between annuity due and ordinary annuity? So if this is the case, look at the diagram here. So future cash flow is more than one time, right? Future cash flows are more than one time. And when? When is the first payment? First payment is today. That means look at her beginning of the year, right? Beginning of the year, today. So if this is the case, read this question. You win $4 million. Okay, you win $4 million. And uh, you will be paid $2 million. $2 million at the beginning. At the beginning of each year for the next 20 years, right? So what is the present value of this money? One, again, it is annually. I equal 8%, N equal 20, and we are going to use table six. We are going to use table six, and this is table six. This is table six. And from this table, we know that N equal 20. So this is the point 20. And I equal 8%, this is 8%, and they mix together here, 10.8%. Six zero three six zero, and uh, this is the solution. You receive, you receive two million dollar. Okay, and what is the present value? We are going to looking for factor here. Factor and this factor actually, it came from 
Yes, it came from I equal, I equal 8%, N equal 20, and table 6. So this factor, this factor came from here. Okay, this factor came from here. I equal 8% and equal 20 and table 6. And I, for your reference, first example here. Now, what you have to do? So I give you five questions. Okay. So you solve it now. Uh, after you solve. Then I will explain the answers and I will show you some alternative questions from here. Okay. So this is the five questions. Every question can be alternate in different ways. And I will share with you very soon. So first job, you try first to solve these five questions. Okay. Then I will show you the answers. <clears throat> Okay, let me explain some alternative questions. So this question said that what is the present value of $8,000 to be received eight period from today, right? So to be received eight period from today, it means that future cash flow is how many times? Only one time, not eight times. Okay. Future cash flow is only one time, and you will receive this money or you will pay this money eight years later. Right? Eight years later. So, how to solve this question? And another important point is 12%. It is not clearly mentioned whether it is annually or semi annually or quarterly. If nothing is mentioned, then percentage means that it is annually. Okay, so if there is no mention, it is actually annually. It is actually annually. So $8,000, we are going to receive only one time. Okay, we are going to receive one time. So we have to find a factor. We have to find a factor. So interest rate is 12%. Can you see? You have to find the factor. So I interest rate is 12%, N equal eight. <clears throat> and we should use, no, N, N equal eight, yes. N equal eight, and we should use which table? Table two. Yeah, so this is the first, and the answer is, So this is the first answer. So 
So this is the first answer. Do you have any question? No, right? Now I can give you alternative question. Okay, alternative question for this part. Alternative question or questions. I can have several questions. So, what is the present value? What is the present value of $8,000 to be received? Some like semi annually. Semi annually, okay? So, if this is the case, if this is the case, we should have answered like this. It should be I equal 6%, right? I equal 6% and N equal 16. Something like this. Again, already portion may be quarterly. Quarterly, right? Then this is three percent, right? Three percent, and uh, this is twenty-four. So I think you understand, right? So this is just an example. Maybe your table don't have year 24, maybe something like this. So I will I will give you this percentage based on the table year and percentage, okay? So this is some random, right? Random, maybe your table don't have year 24, I don't know. You have 24 years? No, right? Something like this. So it's not a big issue, but the case is something like this. I can change something like this. Now this is question two. You can see question two, what is the present value of $10,000 received two years from today, assuming that the annual interest rate, okay, 12% and monthly compounding. Monthly compounding, so the solution is here. So it is 10,000 and in the factor I equal what is the I now at this moment? 12. So let me see. Question said that monthly. Question said that monthly. So it is not 12, right? It is 1%. It is 1%. And uh, this is 24. This is 24 and table 2. And this is the solution. Alternative question. What is the present value of $10,000 to be received? Maybe five years. Okay, five years from today, assuming annual interest rate is maybe 10% and it is semi annually. Something like this. So, what is the solution? Solution is here. $10,000 factor I equal, I equal 
I equal 5%, then N equal 10. 10 and we have to use table two. You understand? Then question three. <clears throat> what is the present value of annuity, right? What is the present value of annuity? So annuity means the series of payment. So $6,000 should be series of payment. So what is the present value of annuity of $6,000 to be received at the end? Another, another keyword at the end of each period for the next eight periods. Do you understand? So you are going to receive $6,000 how many times? Eight times, right? Eight times because it should be the next eight periods. And when? It is when? It is at the end of the year. It is at the end of the year. So this is the solution. Present value of $6,000 of $6,000 factor factor I equal 10 I equal 10 then N equal 8 N equal 8 and which tables we are going to use table 4 And this is the solution. This is the solution. Any question? So table <clears throat> is question four. Question four said that <clears throat> question four said that what is the present bill of annuity of six thousand dollars to be received at the beginning? at the beginning of each period for the next eight years, okay? Next eight years, an interest rate is 10%. So here it is table six. And this is the solution. Present bill of energy due is the answer. Now, question five. Question five said that Jane bought audio system and agreed to pay for the purchase by making four equal annual installment. So the keyword is here. So for a equal annual installment of $800, then beginning one year from today. So what is the meaning beginning one year from today? It is today or? <clears throat> so look at this diagram. Zero. Five. 
So if this is the diagram, we have year one, So according to this question up to year four, annual installment is $800. And they said that first payment, okay? First payment begins one year from today. So what does it mean? It is January 1st or December 31st. The payment is here or here. So January 1st or December 31st? January 1st? Beginning one year from today. Today is January 1st, right? Today is January 1st, but first payment is beginning one year from today. Begin means it will start, right? It will start one year from today. So not here. The first payment is here. First payment is here. So beginning one year from today. You understand? Not beginning today. <clears throat> that means at the end of the year. So the installments begins one year from today plus additional money, okay, plus a lump sum payment of $1,000 at the end of five years. So this is another keyword. So first you are going to pay $800 up to four installment. And at the end of year five, you are going to pay $1,000. Now 800 is more than one time, right? $800 is more than one time and it is similar. So up to here, According to this question, I equal 12 percent. N equal four. And who is table? Table four. Plus. Plus. One thousand I equal twelve percent. What is N equal? N equal four five five. N equal five and who is table? Table two. If we add these two together, first we have to calculate present value of eight hundred, then we have to calculate present value of one thousand, then we add together to get the total present value. Okay, so year five is 1000. Okay, so present value equal. Yeah, no need to say present day local. This is eight hundred. Times factor. 
and this vector is something like this. I equal 12%, N equal 4, N equal 4. Plus This is the formula. First, we calculate present value of $800. Then we calculate present value of $1,000. And this is the answer. This is the answer. Now, alternative question for this one. Same question, I just change your beginning. Today, not one year from today. Okay, Jen bought audio system and agreed to pay the purchase by making four equal annual installment eight hundred dollar beginning today. Okay, plus a lump sum payment of one thousand dollar at the end of year five, and all other things are similar. So, if this is the case. Beginning today, that is past installment is given. Only change here, right? Only change here. There's only one change. Do you have any question? So I will de solve these five questions. Okay, I'll solve these five questions with some alternatives, right? So what is your job? Your job is to read my class materials again and again to understand. And I will prepare the question from here because only five questions, but we know how to change, right? How to change. Just I will change this kind of things annually. I maybe I will tell you semi annually. Here you have four percent. Maybe I will tell you eight percent. Something like this. I will change some number. But whatever we have in these documents, okay. Whatever we have in these documents, I will prepare question from here. So we have several illustrations. We have several examples. I think that's enough for this chapter. Okay, and I'm going to share the recording class with you. And I also share you this kind of documents. Okay. So if you cannot understand, you can watch the recording class and 
even if you don't understand again you can come to my office okay so that's all for today